will show you two kits that might change how you make Arduino projects. <laughs> yeah, but these two kits are in fact different from any other Arduino kit you know. Because instead of a bunch of individual components, everything comes assembled. They bring some sensors that you don't find in most kits. And more importantly, connecting modules is super easy, safe and fast. Two kits, one of them I really recommend. The other one, it depends. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored. Seed Studio sent me this. But to make a fair comparison, I had to buy this. And I also bought a few other things that I want to show you. So please, like the video and stick around. This is the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. And here is the official Arduino Sensor Kit. Both kits have the same modules. An adjustable LED, a buzzer, a button, a potentiometer, a sensor for temperature and humidity, and a light sensor. You can find those in every kit. <laughs> The next ones are quite rare. A sound sensor, an air pressure sensor like a barometer or altimeter, a three-axis accelerometer, and an OLED graphic display. Side by side, both kits look identical, right? But they are not. Let's begin with the Grove Beginner Kit from Seed Studio that comes in a small, quite ingenious cardboard package. The box says open and play, so let's do that. You plug the micro USB cable and ta-da! It runs a demonstration program and you can already see it module working because everything comes connected, ready to use. So you just download the manual and go through all the programming lessons. You don't need to worry about terminals, polarity, jumpers. It is much easier to complete every lesson. But I'm not a beginner anymore, so I will break the connections. Now it looks great. <laughs> what you have now is basically an Arduino Uno board. You can use the Grove connectors in the middle, but you can also use the GPIO pins like any other Arduino. This is my prototyping board now. Grove and breadboard. Now, the Arduino sensor kit, super nice box. And the reason it looks identical to the Grove system is because it was made in collaboration with City Studio, the creator of the Grove system. But these kits are not identical. The modules are the same, the price is basically the same. But when you buy an Arduino sensor kit, you, you don't get an Arduino. Here in the middle, all of this is just a bunch of connectors. This board is a shield to be plugged on top of an Arduino Uno. And if you buy the official one, good lord, it costs almost the same as this kit. You can use any Uno board. My favorite clone so far is the Elegoo Uno R3. Excellent PCB, the same chips as the original. Just perfect to make this Arduino sensor kit, well, work. The best thing about the Arduino sensor kit is the website they made for this kit. Extremely visual, and they also made a special library for this kit. The LCD, the accelerometer, the specifics for all of them is combined in the single library. You can do the 10 lessons without breaking the modules apart, which is great for kids in schools. Can you use the Grove kit with the beautiful Arduino lessons? Yes, with some tweaks. Well, you can pause the video here if you want to read these details. Before I tell you which kit I recommend, this is what I like and dislike about them. I like the OLED screen because you can draw graphics. I also like the accelerometer, they can be used together to program games. It is sad they don't bring any motors, but you can buy a Grove servo from Seed Studio or a Grove Relay. Actually, the collection of Grove sensors and actuators is insane. I love the Grove connectors, and I'm installing Grove cables on some components I got from other kits. The typical LCD, for example, used uh, a bunch of cables. This is as good as I could get in the past. But now I can use an I2C module in the back, buy a cable converter from DuPont style to Grove, plug and ta-da! Every Grove connector has ground, 5 volts and 2 Arduino pins. But the Grove cables are not cheap. Almost 10 times more expensive than the typical pin header cables we buy in bulk. I tried the much cheaper JST connector. It looks so similar, right? But it doesn't fit. The closest I got from a cheap Grove cable was 15 cents per cable. The proper connector, but only in one end, but the colors were wrong. I can put them in the correct order, but... In the end, I ordered more official Grove cables. Actually, I spent more money on cables than the price of the kit. I don't like that when you connect the sensor base on top of your Arduino board, the LED 13 or X, TX, the LEDs are now hidden. But I love that on the Grove Uno board, the LEDs are right on the edge, and it makes total sense. 
although in my kit RX and TX are mislabeled. Oops. Both kits are great. The sensor kit from the Arduino might be too expensive for a lot of people. I recommend the Grove Beginner Kit. Not just for beginners, it is excellent for prototyping and it comes with a bonus, easy analog 6 and 7 that no other Arduino Uno board has and the price is very good. I will put the links in the description, so check them out. How blind am I? It's a Grove Relay. Like, four years ago I had no idea why it had such a strange connector. Ah, look, look, I still have one closed. <laughs>